This whole opportunity with Maestro Aschenbach and the Philharmonia Orchestra is truly an honor to have this orchestra behind me and to, to make music with Maestro. It's, I couldn't ask for anything more, especially at this time in my career. It was in Philadelphia with the Philadelphia Orchestra where he played the Walter Concerto. And well, there he was and he played the first notes and said, ah, wow. And then I knew that I had discovered a new talent, more than a talent. discuss music in, in depth because I think it's there and we, we have this understanding of it that is I think deeper than our experience with any other musicians. We are definitely on the same line. The same line shouldn't be uh, mixed with the idea of playing something kind of straightforward. No, it's just the opposite. Uh, taking risks, being aware that uh, the life of every note is so important. Can, can you do one? Oh, maybe two yeah, yeah. One. two before twenty-two, or, or, or three before twenty-two. No, two before twenty-two. Okay. okay. Is that? No. And. <laughs> I try to not even think of it as a recording. I try to think of every single session as, as a performance. And uh, I think that's the only way you could actually take these risks. Because without them, you know, you would be stuck into playing every single bar measure by, by measure. You get here, you can play. Even more, okay. Even, even more. more. Yeah. Even more. The Elgar Concerto especially, the sentimental value it has, which is very powerful. And you know, you can't, you can't do something like that in a regular recording. It has to be a performance. It could be a rasa for the piano in diminuendo at 60. I look for in a young artist for these qualities. If these qualities are not there, or if they are only partially there, then these are artists don't interest me. So David is one of the great discoveries uh, for me, and I'm absolutely sure of a great future.